Hey guys, how's it going? All right, um, I got a frantic stamper haul in the mail, and I also have uh, a few crafty things to show you from my trip to Walmart last night. Um, so I'm sorry about the noise. I'll try to speak up, but the air is on, and I, it's just too hot to cut it off. <laughs> so okay, this is um, Funky Fossil, and it's called the Winged Mannequin. And I love mannequins in general, and I love butterflies. So like, hello, you know, you gotta have that. Um, and it's P-A-I-I-6, -I if you are interested in that. Um, so this is from All and Create, and this is called Fluttering Friends. So super cute there. Uh, I've wanted this for a good while, but I haven't gotten it, so I went ahead and just, you know, jumped in. Um, this is the Tim Holtz Big Moth die, and it's just called Perspective Moth. So pretty cool. Uh, this one is called Dream Big by Visible Image. Her spirit was strong, her dreams were big, and her passion was unrivaled. Love that. Um, another texture fades. I, I love this. Um, it's, uh, what is it called? Just mosaic, okay. But I love mosaic stuff in general, so um, whether it's art or just whatever, I like it. Uh, so I had to have this folder. And then this as well. We might do some paste or something with that. That's another Funky Fossil. I'm really liking the Funky Fossil stuff lately. Have you guys checked it out or anything? Um, Fran, this is Fran's actual brand. And uh, and this came like, uh, let's see, I ordered it. When I say I ordered it Thursday. And then this is Friday. So this is Saturday. So literally like, boom. Like, it's here. It's just amazing. She blows me away on, on uh, the shipping. Okay, Frantic Stamper. So these are just like stitches and zippers and cool stuff. And I really like that. And it's called um, FRACL035 is the number. And I guess it doesn't have a name. So, all right, Chocolate Baroque. Um, protect my fragile wings. Watch the dragonfly dance across the water, carrying your dreams into the future. I love that. And I saw a dragonfly yesterday at my car um, in the Walmart parking lot, actually. And it was just, like, dancing across my hood, back and forth, back and forth. So, it's really cute. Um, but anyway, so this is unmounted rubber, so I will have to mount that on some clean cushion or put some Aline's Hackett over and over glue on the back. We'll see which one. Um, this is from Paper Artsy. The, I love Lynn Perella's stuff, her, her collections. Um, so it's got Dream and just a lady. Do you, but do you see the detail, like, in the dress? Like, there's a whole, I don't know, village and, I don't know, it's just awesome. Um, and there's one I want with a bunch of little tags on it, too. I mean, well, kind of like this, but I love the tags. Um, maybe we'll do a tag series, I don't know. Anyway, this is um, LPM 11, and I don't think it has a name, just a number, but a tag lady. Uh, this one's called You're Not Alone. Two hands and some circles you can use for anything. You are not alone. Um, a heartbeat, a feeling, a touch. So, and this is Mr. Bone Jangles. <laughs> um, he just looks cool. I, I love the skulls facing that way. I feel like there's a lot you can do with that. So, we'll try that out. Maybe a, a creepy 13 video. Um, Into the Woods, another visible image. They're one of my favorite companies. Uh, grow stronger, stay grounded, be true to your roots. And then some gorgeous trees, a big tree, some birds, an owl. Maybe that's an owl too. Well, that's an owl. Yeah, it probably is an owl. Can't really tell. I think it is. Um, and then she sent this um, as a free gift. And I'm getting quite a collection of this pattern paper. <laughs> um, and then I ordered this one. This is gorgeous. This is rice paper. And uh, it's from Chow Bella. And uh, it's called Midnight Flight. So I love that. I almost wish I would have got two because I feel like I want to hoard one and not use it. Um, this is from Prima uh, Aqu Aquarelle Dreams Collection called Dragonfly Bliss. So just some good um, collage type stuff there. And then the back is just kind of whatever. Um, and then I told you guys I like the mosaic look. And this reminded me of that. Um, well, it says Pretty Mosaic Collection called Pretty Mosaic. 
so we might do some pink mosaic stuff so I did get two sheets of that and in the back is just a little bit of green uh, texture or something and then uh, this is from 49 and market and it's called affirmative maybe I don't know anyway um, just some butterfly stuff and just printed little things nothing Nothing major, but I just want it for a little project I was thinking about. Um, here's tags. Speaking of tags, so some butterflies. Again, it's the 49 the Market. It's called Journal Card. And just a textured back. And then this one um, is called, this is from Stamperia. And it's called, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, um, but just a cool lady's face over here and some dream and do what you love and art and create and imagine and all that stuff and then here is the back all right so that is all for um that so let's see that bag out here um oh, well you don't want to well i'll show you um i got some hair clips this is just my non <laughs> food type bag so um but they had a nice selection i wear a lot of neutral colors and um so they had a neutral hair clip and i love hair clips so this and this will work that's probably not going to hold anything for my hair but you know uh and then this brownie is terrified of the dog brush i don't know why <laughs> she didn't used to be um but uh anyway she doesn't like it they they ate the good one and um, so I have to use the one I use for Rosie, which is like uh, this type of bristle because it's just she has to have that, have that. She's got a lot of hair. And um, but anyway, uh, Brownie is terrified of it for some reason. So um, I bought this little glove to like pet her or whatever, and you just slide it on, and you know how you do a dual function grooming glove. It says, and then that way I can brush her, and hopefully she'll be cool with that. We shall see. <laughs> um, this. Well, technically, this was in the craft section. Um, it says it's a plastic pencil sharpener, and it was only a dollar. It does the large size and the small. But to be honest with you, I needed a, um, a makeup sharpener, like eyeliner and lip liner and whatever. And I was too lazy to walk back over there and get it, and I didn't put it on my list. And I thought, well, that looks about the size. So for a buck, I'm going to try that. If not, I'll put it with my pencils. All right. Um... I do not sew, however, I picked up some thread. Okay, because um, I saw it put kind of on the back of a card and swirled all around. And sometimes my stuff, like this kind of stuff, is too thick, right? Um, but this gives it a little bit of texture, like neutral texture or something. So I love that, and so I'm gonna try that. So I picked up a few of those. And then I've been thinking about um, getting the Paper Artsy chalk paint for a long time. And they're, they're quite expensive, but, um, so I, I haven't. Uh-oh, oh no, I got two pumpkins. Now let's go on back, okay. Um, thought I checked everything. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, but it's, it's very expensive paint. And I feel like it's got a chalk finish or whatever. And I just, I don't know about it. Um, I don't know if I want to sink that much money into it. But Walmart had these. I wish I could remember how much they were, but I can't. That would probably be important to tell you. Oh, and some nail polish that I probably don't really need. But it's pretty. And it's called Mint to Me in St. Louis. <laughs> okay. So, um, I thought these looked pretty cool. And this is just a matte finish, no prep acrylic paint, it says. And it's like a chalk finish. So, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty similar, I hope. And a lot cheaper. So, um... I picked up these to try, and I love, I just love, like, the neutralness of it all. I don't know. Um, I feel like I have to organize everything by color for some odd reason. Um, this is called Lagoon, no, lacquer. I don't know. It's 
a weird name, don't you think? Gray down here, white over here. Okay, I'm a little happier, but not really. Anyway, um, so whatever, there they are. <laughs> um, but I'll let you know how it goes. Just just for some mixed media stuff. I have lots of other just like regular acrylic paint um, that I sometimes use. Not not too much on camera, but I use it sometimes. And but I'll try to use these on camera and see you know how they do. So if you've ever used them before, let me know what you think. Alright guys, I will talk to you later. Happy crafting. Bye.